Hey folks, it is Lucid, a welcome back. Uh, we have a very, very special turn for you here. It's uh, turn 27, and uh, some things you would expect that would be the best part of this turn are not actually the best part of the turn. But, um, quick summary where we were. We've been raiding Bogarus and Flegra, and uh, we had finally broken the fort of Flegra. So we will start off with that. There is no battle on the outside, so there's only a battle on the inside, and it's... We've basically blocked Flegroff from getting back to his cap before uh, the siege broke. So the armies of Lemuria march forward. We have unholy power coming down, so their combat speed is picked up. They are quite quick. You can see they just go straight through the walls, one of the best parts of, uh, of these ethereal units. Just ignoring the ghosts and going straight for the back lines. These dogs closing in. See, they uh, killed this guy and turned him into a Solus, uh, as these dogs indeed do. And the mages have perished, and the front lines are completely overrun. <clears throat> Imagine this like a zombie movie, except the zombies can go through walls. Some scary shit. Basically what happened there. Um, but now for the actual kind of... There's two amazing things that happen this turn. Number one is we found a site. Iflight. He is the man. He found the Mirror Wall Palace, which is one of the better sites in the game. Three air gyms. Three. And it enables the recruitment of sorceresses. Now, they're very special because Air Astral is just kind of badass in general. Super high mobility, they're old, but that's probably okay. I think once we get a big batch of these, we'll figure out how to kill them, and... I always say that, and then I never do it. It's actually kind of hard to do. Uh, but we might try life after deathing a big group of them. <coughs> uh, the best way to do it, actually, is to set it up where you... problem is you need to fight an army that's, like, very predictable. Uh, the best way i found to do it, actually, is you can send... Uh, ghost Riders at yourself. Uh, there's probably other ways to engineer it, too. Um, and then you have to have them standing near things that will kill them. The, one of the best ways to do this is Cave Cows. <coughs> or Bog Beasts, that's what I mean. So, uh, my god can probably summon these. He might need a Water Bracelet or something. But, uh, that's just, that's kind of late run. Anyway, either way, I'm perfectly happy... The upkeep of these guys is going to be a little annoying later, but for now, I'm perfectly happy recruiting them. 16 RP a turn means our research is going to kick into high gear. And that air income, we can put to all sorts of things. These guys, too, are going to be able to cloud trap these on top of people, drop air elementals. All sorts of fun things. Um, yeah. Very, very scary. And then the other super important thing is I have been thinking to myself, I don't think I've been voicing it, but in my head I've been like, damn it, where is Itimu? Now we have been naming everybody, but Itimu, he must remain Itimu. Uh, we're not going to rename him after anyone. Uh, but he is back in action. Let's, what's his default plate hopper? Oh man, shit, it's actually better than this. 22? Natural protection, 8. Body protection, 21. If I take this off, body protection, 22. I think I prefer that. Um, the fire resistance is nice, but I think this is okay. And this way we don't commit much gear. He has a Bane Blade normally, which is pretty solid. It's got decay and all of that jazz. Um, <coughs> but... I think I'm partial to the pike. Because now, with my like unholy power and uh my bless because my bless now gives plus three attack uh he's going to be at 23 attack which will be pretty good uh we need to go ahead and get him a heroic trait so we're going to have him deploy to the uh to the battlefield but we had more events so first off we attack lemuria with sir Toma, the man who gives zero fucks um, Sir Thomas got a little bit of affliction, a little bit of disease, a little bit of weaken. Um, but that's okay. That just, that just means he woke up a little bit on the wrong side of the bed. 
Um, those will heal. We've got some archer fire coming down. Uh, no mage support, which I will just say is very bold. Attacking near Lemuria with no mage support. Now you may be like, but this is a lot of crossbows. But we went through the math, and uh, Sir Toma is not going to give a fuck about the crossbows. Troops close in. So far he's undamaged. More guys closing in. Every time you see the, them flash white, that is the all working. You can see his morale already down to six. Nine. So we have the fear aura doing its thing. And I'm just unable to connect here. All just doing tremendous amounts of work, keeping his defense reasonably high. Giving us those layers of protection here. As their uh, morale drops and all is going to work even more, uh, you can see his defense is popping up because all is a layer of defense before defense itself. So these guys literally just can't hit him. Occasionally the uh, the crossbow bolt will get through, but then he'll heal right back up. Way more friendly fire here than is be than uh, you know than the good kind of fire. Now we're not going to be making friends with Marion doing these kind of shenanigans. Yeah, you know, this pisses people off. People don't like this shit. You know. Because I had kind of invited him to this war with Flegra, but then he's bumped me a few times, like intentionally, uh, which I didn't appreciate. And uh, he came in super late, like pure vulture mode. Um, but I would be okay with him vulturing some if uh, if he was willing to be to make a nap, like to be an ally. Uh, but so far, he hasn't been very interested. But I imagine this will get his attention. Now, wh wh whether I'm okay with it or not doesn't matter. He's certainly allowed a vulture. Um, the thing, though, is that if I have the means to stop him, like sending Sir Toma at him, letting Sir Toma out of the cage, then, well, you know, I may choose to do that. So this is actually kind of crazy. There's a, a wave of people running from him, and they have just run into these these archers who are sitting here shooting, trying to kill him, but really just causing friendly fire. And these guys are trying to get out. This is a little bit like that Game of Thrones scene where there's just piles of bodies here. And he's just waiting over the piles of bodies, killing everybody. And they're like, let us out! And they're like, we can't go anywhere! Ah! So... Yeah, Sir Thomas doing his thing. Pick up the speed a little bit here. So he kills all these guys. The problem is, Sir Toma, for all of his wonderful attributes, he only has one attack. Um, there's a lot of people to kill here, and um, the battle's going to time out. We just can't, we can't kill everybody fast enough. And these guys, he, he may be kind of upset these guys form this little buffer, but them forming a buffer is actually the reason... Um, that this is all going to go south. And that is because I haven't been able to make contact with the archers. And if I make contact with the archers long enough, then the archers will route. And if they route, um, then it's going to cause an HP route. And uh, the battle times out, and so then we, we fail a morale check. Okay. But that was enough. Uh, that was enough, apparently. He did not storm that fort. And we killed just a tremendous amount of, of garbage. I mean, look at all this garbage that got killed. Uh, and we'll be back. We'll kill some more garbage. Um, next up, we can see um, Atlantis deciding he needs to get in on, <coughs> on some of this... <coughs> oh, gosh. Some of this hot Bogorusian action. Now, let's take a look at this bless. Decay weapons. Interesting. Not really going to be something we care about much. Defense skill, that's pretty okay. Blood Surge, pretty good against ghosts. And uh, Reinvigoration, that's okay. 
Yeah, these are actually pretty good. Reinvigoration is pretty good for once uh, rigor mortis and stuff starts coming out. And he can do rigor mortis himself. Let's take a look at these guys' stats once they get a little blood surge. Yeah. That is going to be hard to send consoles into. But a large part of this army is not magic weapon. So there's only a small portion of magic weapon dudes. But these guys are going to kill basically one ghost every turn. Uh, and they don't have huge encumbrance issues, especially with the reinvigoration. I would say it's pretty solid. I mean, the decay weapons, not a huge fan of. But there's not a ton of, uh, of death options for your bless. <coughs> okay, so we end up bumping him here. And he kills my little... <coughs> my little squad. Now, these guys sailed. This was a sailing attack against Bogarus. So I'm guessing that Atlantis made the assessment. God, that guy died fast. Holy shit. I mean, I knew he would die, but he died fast. Watch my Centurion here. Like, instantly popped. That's the fastest we've seen a Centurion die. Atlantis is really the worst matchup for me here. Um... But I'm sure we will piss him off and get into a fight. Next up, we have a fight here. And we have... Uh, this is the rightmost Bogorusian army. This is the army... You remember there were two of them. One of them had a bit more mage support. More masters of names. And it had a bigger, solider front line. Oh, I'm sorry. It had more archers. The other one had more archers and more mages. This one had a bigger front line. Uh, and, like, the heavy cav and stuff. On our side, um, because he's attacking me, these guys were going to attack him in his home province, but he chose to be aggressive and attack forward. So, yeah. We've got Bobo back here, uh, and then a Centurion who's probably going to die. Now, Bobo does not have any special anti-lightning gear, but they're not going to choose to do Thunderstrike once he gets surrounded like this. They're going to miss too much, it would cause too much friendly fire, the AI is like, we're not going to do it. So they switch to Mind Burner. Problem with Mind Burner is we're at 22 magic resistance, so not many of them are going to hit. And when they do hit... Holy shit, we just got the shit smacked out of us. Um, when they do hit... Um, we have a decent chance to regenerate back up. Okay, we've got the fear starting to set in. <clears throat> Which means we get more, uh, more of the all checks. These guys ate morale. That means they're going to have a really hard time passing that, uh, that all check. But occasionally we just have these big, freaking huge hits go through. And those hurt. This guy's barely staying in line. I, I sent this guy here. I didn't even talk about it last turn. I sent him here specifically if they charged in. A, I wanted to see how well he did unkitted against one of these armies. And B, I, I thought there was a decent chance I'd burn out their communion slaves. Uh, but he is getting... Bobo is getting far more done than I ever expected. For those of you who don't know, Bobo is uh, from the Bobo and Oleg stories uh, that were part of... Oh gosh, I forget which series it was. Oops, I just nailed the mic. I forget which... Oh, Thunderstrike coming in. Hello. See, this is what happened. The, the guys cleared out here, and then the Thunderstrikes started coming in. Now, let's take a look. I think all the Communion Slaves have been burnt out. Yeah. Zero magic boost. Which is odd they can still do a Thunderstrike. That Thunderstrike must have actually killed him. Because you have to be... Yeah. It has to be Air 3, at least. Air 2 is not enough to Thunderstrike. So everybody is routed. This guy's charging forward. Full HP, ready to go, but he's getting in range of these holy words. Lightning bolt. Another lightning bolt. In melee range now with one of their leaders.
full HP still. I get what? I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, and then he gets the shit smacked out of him. Let's see how he actually died. Oh, he hit him with the hero's blade. Okay, so he's got a magic weapon. And then got hit with a lightning bolt in the leg for 19. Yeah, the hero's blade is what did it. I think this guy might be a hero. Yeah, he's lucky. So that's kind of cool, actually. Three times damage for slower trip beatings. Yeah, he smacked the dog crap out of him with that hero's blade. So that was cool. I'm glad, I mean, I, and this already went plenty horribly for Bogaroos. Almost everybody ran off the field. I had, this is a province which I have surrounded, basically. So he attacked from here into here. No friendly places to retreat except up this way, which means you get horrible uh, survival rates in the retreat. So this was an army of 112, and now it's probably 40. Um, now, a lot of the mages lived, um, but a lot died. We lost four, uh, so it was about half, kind of, that died. And the army's in shambles. Um, and he got backstabbed by Atlanta, so this is a pretty bad turn to be Bogarus. Pretty bad turn. Um, coming down here, there's a battle here where I finally managed to get myself on top of a fort. Got Arco coming in with the Mystics. I'm gonna hit him up with some Mystics. Um, Hoplites, these are, I think are the champions, right? Yeah. Heart champions. He's got plus four attack magic weapons, plus four strength. These guys are those will kill some ghosts, let me tell you. And they pack five, what, four or five per square? Five per square, you can see right here. They get in tight. And then uh, the Gath guy leaves. Coming down, we have Flegro. Flegro attacking me here with the little goon squad. You know, something just to kill that one PD. Well, good luck, buddy. This is one Lemurian PD. <clears throat> You should know better. Now a couple, uh, a couple lucky archer hits will, uh, will indeed kill him. But now the undead have started to close ranks. And uh, you can see this many archers not super great at long range. They just miss a ton, and then when they hit, he just regens back up. I think I'm, is that the commander? Yeah, that's the commander. So the commander eventually runs forward and then dies. I don't know if he was on stay behind troops or what happened. <coughs> oh no, it wasn't. That wasn't the oppressor general. That was the helot soldier. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the battle timed out or what, but the ultra value one PD. Um, we've taken. Uh, quite a few provinces and met no resistance, which we're always happy with. Um, and for events, we got the province income plus three, which we like. Um, some more gems. A fire sword. And uh, yeah, and then we got a Teemo. So I haven't actually played much of this turnout, so we'll play part of it out together. Um, there's a few things. One is we knew the snake was here last turn, so the snake has moved up. And presumably the snake's going to move here, in which case we're going to kill it with Felik. Um, Atlantis has presented an interesting challenge. Because him coming in to take Bogarus, well, um, I'm not a very big fan of that. I'm also not a very big fan of sending in consuls against the Astartutes. My best defense against the Astartutes actually is going to be, uh, if we look at them... They have linked three weapons. Uh, and then once they're blessed up, they're not going to have great defense. I mean, they do have plus three defense in their bless. Three, 14. Yeah, I don't know. I think if we have three guys 
with repel gear, they will not take any damage. Repel gear is pretty cheap. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. He's clearly going to try to make a play for Bogarus's cap. And uh, we will probably go knock him off. It's going to be a while before he breaks through. This is 80, 200. That'll be quite a few turns. So ideally we take this and this and then position ourselves to go take this from, from Atlantis before he can take it. Um, we can also probably knock this over this turn. So I have to see the thing, I need to check with Pythium. Uh, I don't see any signs of them actually going to war. Where, where are Pythium's troops? They're not on my border. I don't know what Pythium's doing. I think they're not going to go to war. I think... I think they've made some kind of truce. Maybe Pythium has realized how big of a threat I actually am. <clears throat> And Flegra is getting ready for their final uh, final hurrah. Uh, Sertoma is sitting here. So we have to figure out what to do with Sertoma. My inclination... I don't actually need Sertoma to clear these guys out. I kind of want to send these idiots uh, and just one turn pop this fort. I feel that's probably the move. And then we'll send Sertoma up here on top of these. Uh, we're patrolling here. I want to go ahead and get the unrest down so I can get the maximum amount of income out of this place. Uh, this palisade is almost coming up. This one came up. This one's coming up. I probably should go ahead and temple this. We'll have to wait for a hot minute to upgrade some of these forts. I have also started upgrading a fort here. Uh, Imperialists... I think we're going to send Ivathi here. I think we'll send Imperialist south. <clears throat> he doesn't have any way of getting over these mountains. Nobody here has uh, mountain survival. There is a chance I could get attacked here. I find it to be kind of unlikely. Man, bad turn for Bogarus, I tell you what. Getting backstabbed by Atlantis. I feel I feel a little bad for the Coalition of the Living because uh, once I've kind of shown them weakened, and I haven't been advertising it really at all. I think I've told some people, like I told Pythium and I told Agartha that I killed that Bogarusian army, but I've been underplaying how badly I've been beating Flegra. <coughs> I definitely haven't tried to advertise it. Um... Okay, Arch Chronics, I think we're going to take this off. I need to make a kit. And I have enough fire gems now. We've got a few of these guys. How many pearls do I have? I think we're going to do just hang tight for a turn. Well, let's do this first. What's my research at? 312. God, it's steaming a lot. This is going to drop it down. These guys contribute a lot of research. But I need pearls for fighting these guys, I think. I still have to worry a bit about dust to dust. What? I wonder if these guys are in advance and cast spells. Horde of Skeletons, it's freaking perfect. Um, we don't give a fuck about Horde of Skeletons, but we do give a fuck about dust to dust. So I think we pop this... Got the leak here. The leak would get wrecked basically by these guys. But it'll kill the snake, which I'm okay with. And I'm fine with this fort going to Agartha. Agartha definitely deserves some spoils. But I want 
Belgarus's capital. So I think what I'm going to do, I think we're going to take Arch Chronics. Are, are rituals still cheaper? I don't think so. Uh, we got a death random too as our next. Uh, this is Elikium, however you say that. One of our Patreon folks. So, um, yeah, he's going to be really good at doing rigor mortis and stuff. Uh, we do want to go out site searching. We've got Sakane here who's going to search. And I think we're going to send <coughs> you out here. There's a well of misery here, too, I think. Yeah, look at this guy. Diseased. <coughs> I noticed it before, but um, I have to get over there. So anyway, I've got a fort coming up here and here. I'm pretty sure I can finish these now. Now that things have gone to shit for Bogarus, uh, I probably am gonna take some dudes here, and march them right here. Something like that. In case they do attack, I do kind of want to have some protection up. Um, these idiots here, I actually could probably... How much siege strength? 150? How much siege strength here? 50? They can't communion, but they can still do a fair amount of damage. These guys are in trouble. If I were him, I would consolidate here. Problem is I'm getting pretty far away from my power base as I attack up this way, which means it's gonna be hard to really lay claim to a lot of this land, but I really don't want Atlantis getting it. There's a very good chance after we take this fort that I just start raiding Atlantis. Which means I'm going to be in a war with three people, but I'm really big. I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I'm 40 big. It's really big. I'm probably almost double the next person. Um, what's my gym income at? 24 death gems. Not bad. So, I've got to figure some of this out. You know, the other th good thing about getting sorceresses is I do have Aerofend unlocked. So all my sorceresses can do... I'm about to have Aerofend unlocked when I get to six. But they'll all be able to do this for two gems turn one, or we can do it for one gem if I've got, like, Clam of Pearls or something, too, to do Power of the Spheres. <clears throat> oh, so that's pretty huge. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need, if we're really going to do, which I think we will... I have to be careful with this because I, I get and basically gets hard countered by dust to dust. Um, so all he has to do is put his guys on advance and cast spells. <laughs> it's basically GG. But um, three of these consoles can go to work on these uh, just the troops themselves. So we're going to start positioning for that, I think. Go knock these guys off. I guess the commander who was here or something, I don't know what happened, but I think that maybe the commander ran or something like that. I'm not sure. So the terminal's coming up here. Take this. So let's think. If he goes on top of his cap, which I'm guessing he will.
First of all, this is just going to be given to us then, basically. But if I were him, I would probably knock me off. But he probably doesn't want to fight me while he's eating Bokaroos. Hmm. I think the first thing I, I know I want is I want these two. I want this one and I want this one. So I get these and then I need to get in position to get Arch Chronix, Private Plump Kit, maybe one more. Do I have anybody else? I want to see if he's building uh which one call if he's building a fort here okay feeling pretty okay about this we lost i mean we lost one of our guys here but he'll be back two months let's see if we can dispossess spirits over here, one of the things that's kind of cool when these guys spawn, they don't have uh, any orders. So you can tell how many you get when you're clicking next to go through. Like, so I, this is my second guy that I think I've gotten this turn. This guy's from before. I think we're going to have you make another one of these. You can see I've got pretty big troop reserves here we're going to roll out. As we aim to cover the world in ghosts. I think we'll do a line formation here and put you guys on fire. And here we already have a temple, so we'll do spirits. We need to upgrade this, so we're going to keep this guy around. Sakane is searching. Here this has already been upgraded. We've got a lot of troops, which I'm going to shuffle off and away. Here we're going to go pick up as many as we can and shuffle these off to the war front. And we are going to carve ourselves out a big part of Bogarus. And potentially Marignan and potentially Atlantis. And at that point it's basically going to be a good game. Kind of sucks. I don't think we're, I'm going to get to give you a very long game here. I think we're just going to steamroll everybody. Which, you know, it's not as fun. It's more fun to, to kind of drag it out. but. I don't think people, I don't think they're going to, I just don't think they're ready. <coughs> okay, I think we're going to move him up here. Okay, um, this is Lemuria. I've got a shit ton of people here too. I can move these guys all the way up here. Holy crap. These guys would just get wrecked. And uh, put these guys on hold and fire. Sparse line. And then Itimu will just give you the old fashioned uh, unholy blessing. Oh, wait, we've got this guy up here who can stand in the same tile. So you're just going to do unholy blessing. And then unholy protection. And then Itimu, you will do. Unholy Blessing, Unholy Power. Ideally, he's, he'll do Skeletal Body, too. We just didn't have it yet. And uh, he has other stuff he's going to do, too. Oh, whatever. We can do Unholy Protection. So if he tries to run back, he's basically completely fucked. He's completely fucked. The fact that, that Atlantis betrayed it, he was already going to be screwed. Because I'm just realizing now how many troops I actually have to deploy. But, yeah. I think we take this. We might even take this. Just one turn pop it, then what's he going to do? Like, oh, I have magic weapons. Yeah, but do you have, like... Like, how many magic weapons do you have? No, he can sail. So, 
he potentially can get here from a variety of provinces. Like from here to here, he could reinforce. But people are going to start crying about Throne Rush soon, too. And that's actually valid, because I've got a shit ton of thrones. I'm not trying to Throne Rush, I'm just really, really, really big. Okay, here we're going to make shadows. I do, we do kind of want to make uh, a temple here, but my rule, we're not going to take Dominion. Or we're not going to build temples in forts until my Dominion is <coughs> already pushed there. Uh, and then Waywinkle. I think I need another console now. We've been going a little deep into the to the Grand Lemurs, but I think it's console time. And then where are you going, sir? I think we're gonna shuffle all the archers over to this army. Here, this guy was supposed to build a lab. But we ain't got time for that, so I think you're going to site search, even though there's nothing there to find. What are you doing? What do you do dispossess spirits. You guys... Okay, we've got a lot of eyes over here. Not used to having such a good scouting network. Um, And this is a big force. I wonder what these guys are going to do. It's looking like Gath is getting ready for another round. We'll see if they attack. Gartha appears to be very peaceful, which is what we like to see. <clears throat> He's got temples on our border. Unforted temples, but I've told Agartha that uh, I'm not going to attack, like, I'm not even going to end my nap with him for 20 turns. Just so that he feels safe, he can do things like this on our border. Um, I'll do hide. Uh, this fort is upgraded, so I think we're going to send you over this way now. Off my porch is going to side search. Oh, another mage. Sweet. And then iFlight, who is the man for discovering this, and we have turned this on. Repeat recruitment, repeat recruitment, repeat recruitment. These are the three places we're getting mages. It'll be nice to get some up here too. Um, this fort's upgraded, so we don't need this scout here anymore. We might as well pull him over here. This will be another good place to put a fort, since that will kind of give this one some safety, since the only two places to really get into it are here and here. But uh, we are we need all this money. We got 2,000 income, which is really good, but uh, we're actually going to need it all, because... Okay, I think you're going here. There's some we've only sight searched like Death 2, but I think we're going to... they're going to be the ones we come back to last. Or this, these two I'm probably going to send with my god, so I can sight search for nature in the, the forest. Okay, wait. Um. And I think we're about done. Here we're going to go ahead and do Dispossessed Spirits. We will, every fort we're going to try to get out of Palisades to at least level 2, but the interior ones we're not going to get to level 3, only exterior ones. And obviously this changes, like these were exterior, but now they're interior. <clears throat> okay, hide. <coughs> Let's go scout over here. Unfortunately, none of our income is disconnected this turn, which is nice. So anyway, I think that's it. We've probably pissed everybody off. People are no doubt organizing against us, which is appropriate. Uh, but I think the way to play Lemuria is try not to overextend too much, Like, but I've got a very solid power base. And I'm not worried about anybody taking this stuff from me. Um, 
So then, like, what else are my armies going to do? We're just going to sit here? No, no, no. The, the faster we get, the way we get forts up faster is by going and attacking everybody. And people are going to gang up on us anyways. So might as well be aggressive. This army could get killed to a man, though, if we get attacked here. But there's also a chance we can kill his uh, his dudes in the back. Since we're on a wide flanking maneuver, we could get the Angakoks. Which would cause all these guys to rout, and then we'd kill all of them. That would be cool. Um, but it is going to be tricky, I think, to get the Bogaroo stuff before Atlantis gets it. We're going to need consoles... Not a Teemo. How many of these... Okay, we're making one pike. How many pikes do I have? I have this one. We're making three burning pearls. Then we're going to have three pikes. I probably have to make next turn another console. And then I'll have to get them all deployed about as fast as I can. Uh, Arch Chronix. Technically, I should be using Private Plumpkit. If Private Plumpkit actually takes this fort, then we'll be pretty much in good, in a good position. Um, final thing to do that we do every turn: we come through here and we just do uh, plus one everywhere that I have a zero. You can actually use your arrow keys for this, which is kind of nice. Oh, that was it. I thought there were more. These are under siege. But yeah, that's it. Looking like it's going to be a stomp, guys. But uh, sometimes games start looking that way and then they go completely sideways. We'll find out. See you next time. Cheers.